blitz from his safety spot. He's been a big pickup for them. Here's Parker going nowhere because Ken. Jamal Williams, Oklahoma State. Line after the Ryan Clark interception, Roethlisberger will start with Parker, and he goes nowhere. Jamal Williams tackled. Uh, in the offseason, you can live in La Jolla. You are a smart man. Three-yard gain for Willie Parker. San Diego is tough to run against, and it's this guy right here. The three-man line, it all starts with the nose tackle. And Jamal Williams is one of the best. I mean, look what he does. He just takes the center. Jeff Harding's just straight in alignment to stop the run. That's the first guy I'd pick, Jamal Williams. And a great nose tackle on the other side on Hampton. Now Parker just taking <laughs> You know what? People are gonna think we rehearsed no, this. The right guard's gonna come down on him, and he's gonna he's not only gonna beat one, he's gonna beat two. He's going to take on two. Did you see that club that he put on the guy? Kendall Simmons came down and he just clubbed him right there. Boom! With his left arm, he's right there on Willie Parker. That, if you want to be a nose tackle in life, made that comic opener. They were shut out by Jacksonville and lost two weeks ago to Cincinnati. They come in tonight off their bye week and Parker for a gain of about three. Man on man, and then we saw him, you know, take two. Now watch how agile he is as he just runs right down the line, you know, starts there, feels that that stretch play, and then as first and ten from the 39-yard line. Cedric Wilson sees his first action of the night. This is going to be Najee Davenport, the ex-Green Bay Packer, who's been inactive. Pittsburgh's deepest penetration. They go back to Parker. To bounce it to the outside to lose his helmet to time. Gets tired, but watch what happens. I mean, they're still trying to do it, and, and there's nothing there. I mean, they double team him, and they say, let's just run right there. Willie Parker gets in there. There's nothing. And still maintains, I believe, an extremely active schedule as Roethlisberger goes back to pass under pressure and gets swarmed under at the seven yard line. The first guy in there was Merriman. Boy, and then they just kept coming, as you said, goes to the inside and then comes back mm -hmm. and gets him again. Whoa, baby. Oh, the Chargers have that ball. That's Jamal Williams with the ball. Well, the question is, is his knee down? It's really close. Now, ran for a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Third down and one. They're going to give it to Davenport, and Davenport... Trying to play the role of Bettis can't ran into his own man in there. If there wasn't anything inside, he could bounce outside. But this is why there's nothing inside. I mean, Jamal, Jamal Williams just takes everything and pushes it into the Steeler. They're trying to take on me and just find out where the ball is and go get it. Yeah, I don't think anybody's body is ready for this this kind of impact. You know, 300 pound, 350 pound guys in a short distance colliding. You know, I don't think anybody's body is made for that. But I love it, man. Let's go. Angles and any other defensive player. All night car wreck. Willie really Parker probing. Looks like Hardings is having a heck of a time right here with, with Jamal Williams. I mean, he's just manhandling. I mean, he's just putting him, picking him up, putting him right in the backfield because he's winning the leverage battle. And first of all, like I said, he weighs 350 pounds, but he's getting underneath Hardings. He's getting underneath his shoulder pads, lifting him up. And where's your power? Down from the 20 yard line. They start this drive with Parker. For a hard earned. After the dash, 47 yard line. Off the fake. Roethlisberger feeling the heat. And then down he goes, and the ball is loose. And the Chargers think they have it at the 44 yard line. No sign. And there was no way that, way that he could step up. To watch his pocket collapse right into Ben Roethlisberger right here as he steps up. So they're, they're, they're coming from the outside, plus they're coming right up the middle. Oh, It's hard to sack a quarterback anymore and get a fumble. <laughs> That's now. Right. It's harder and harder. Let's see if it happens here. No fumble that time, but it's Jamal Williams who just keeps penetrating. As most of these nose tackles are just run players, you know, and they just do that and they don't they don't get much pass rush, but he's not a great pass rusher, but he's a great pass pusher. I mean, he pushes and collapses the pocket straight up the middle. Look at Alan Fanneke here. I mean, he just takes him and he just pushes him right into Ben Roethlisberger. Man tonight. And a half. 10-7.
After it was 13 to 7, that defense really took over, and Jamal Williams was just.